And what you think about uh, Baton Rouge's drug problem? Me and Haron problem. You know, at first, Haron was not only a, yeah, mostly the pills, but now, Haron really took over BR. See, but see, what they did was they put it in the pill. They put it in the pills. They put it in the drink. They put it in all the other things that are lured into it. Yeah. And see, now they just want it. So, you know, they've been sneaking and geeking. But now they just like, nah, that little sneaking and geeking shit ain't working no more. And some of them, a lot of them ready to give up on life. Yeah, you read on that. So that's their excuse. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I know so many people, bro, like, that I know more people now that died from that than in the streets because all my homies and them dead already. So now I know more people that OD than I know that get killed, that get murdered. Mm hmm you see, some people, they might feel like, oh, I'm going to turn up this week and I'm going to take that little pill. But they just don't know that little pill might got a little fit now and now that they know. That's why I got a song with my new CD coming out, bro, called Fitting Off. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, just to let them know, just to warn them, because a lot of them act like they don't know, bro. But once you know, you know. Man. You feel me? Like, I can't save you. I done tried to save too many of them. And I done tried to help too many of them, but... It's a never ending struggle. Mm-hmm. Well, my back was hurting now. Like, they're like, man, he go a little pill. Like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to make it happen for nobody. Say, bro, that's why I don't, I don't try nothing. I don't experiment with nothing. I'm just a weed man, bro. Mm -hmm. And anything else, they can keep it. Anything. I don't nigga tell you. If a nigga tell you I did anything, they lied. If a bitch tell you I ate a pussy, she lied. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I stand on morals and principles. <laughs> From the old law, you feel me? Yeah. And I ain't changing them for no lames or no goofies or for the beat down or nothing like that. And I ain't gonna lie, I went through peer pressure because I was poor. Yeah, I mean, that's because I was struggling, but I wasn't gonna let no drug or nothing help me. I wanted to help myself. I wanted to help other people. I was helping my family for, at six and seven years old. I was stealing for the whole family. I was cutting grass, raking leaves, shoveling snow for the whole family. So by the time I was 12 or 13, my mind was on paying rent or keeping the lights on. Aww. Feel me? Yep. I, uh, I'm a real hyena, man. For real. <laughs> Hungry one.